into this here video. I know I got a lot of tabs open, but don't judge me. So what I want to go through are five sites that I've either used in the past or still used here and there intermittently. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to start off right here. This site is called wholesale55.com. They they have a few different categories, and this is I don't sell some of these categories, but maybe you know if you don't sell health and beauty and you are you're interested in other categories the majority of these sites will have other categories that you can purchase items from now some of these sites also the prices aren't the same as when I first had purchased something or you might once in a while come across an item that profit margin wise is worth it it's just kind of hit and miss man and, and honestly I've been finding out for the most part that this is how most sites are becoming you know what I mean it's just you got to continue to search continually it's like every day you need to be searching anyway let's get started they also have an ebay store which i really haven't found anything worth buying off of on their ebay store as far as reselling goes now if i click on shop cosmetics if you scroll down here are the brands that they'll have or usually have beauty creations ebella city color now if you just let's just click on let's say maybelline see what they got here okay and there is no minimum order quantity on this one either, I don't think. Oh, they have things here that are out of stock. You got some Maybelline, mascaras, things of that nature. Uh, I, I, I went through a lot of these. And there was a few that I thought might be worth it. And, and also, it's going to depend on the platform you sell on to. Okay? eBay, um, Amazon, and Walmart. If you're not on Amazon and Walmart and you're only doing eBay, especially with cosmetics, you got to, you got to branch out. Do what you got to do. Get your reseller's license and things like that for Walmart. Go ahead and sign up for Amazon. You have to, man, because a lot of this stuff either just sells slower on eBay or, or you know, people just are cheap over there, man. They're just cheap. But anyway, you got this. one 141 Very Black. You got UPC so you can do research on. You can see how much it's selling for. On whatever platform or platforms you decide to sell it on let's back up and it goes the same way with all the rest of these let's back up again l'oreal let's see what they got over here not that many things you got these pro glows and there are the shades that they have available you can get 24 48 or 96 and i think down here yeah it'll show you the price per unit so 24 units you'll get out 370 if you get 48 it'll go 360 and if you get 96 units it'll go down to 350 350 for these may not be that bad it just depends on the shade you get in the prop in the platform you're selling it on all right and now you can just kind of go through and, and check that out right you can go through each of these and see what they got Sometimes these categories won't have any items. They'll either be sold out or they just won't really have much. So that's that. So that's wholesale55.com. You can check it out. Go through it. I just keep these in my bookmarks. And here and there, I'll just go through and see if there's anything. Because once in a while, you'll get a really good item that'll pop up at a good price. And, and you got to grab it up quick because if not, somebody else will. All right. Next up is wholesalemakeup.com. Now this is a pretty decent site, but this is another one where their prices have gone up and a lot of the items, it's just not much, if any, profit margin there. And that's just regardless of what platform you're trying to sell it on. But not everything. Like I said, you got to kind of go through the site, go through the categories and, and look at each item. Yeah, it takes some time, but I mean, we in this to win this, right? We, we If you half fast, you're going to get half fast results. So... And then they got a lot of uh, cat or brands. However, a lot of these probably won't have anything in it. Like, and they sell some new and some shelf pulled items. The one thing I didn't like about this site was that their shelf pull items, the, the price is like way too high as far as I'm concerned for shelf pulls. You know, like if they was new, yeah, I might I might pay that. But like this, somebody they sold out. Look, somebody's buying this stuff. The price per unit is three dollars and fifty six cents. I think that's high for shelf pools if these are shelf pools these might not be some of these shades don't sell for that much so 356 per unit is still kind of high because some of these shades really don't sell for that much it just depends on the shade and once again the platform so like these right they're sold out they're shelf pools but they wanted 5.99 a unit i just think that's that's too much now some of these shades do sell for a good amount of money honestly uh depending on where you're selling them at and they move fairly quickly uh, 
especially on Walmart. I had some that I was selling on Walmart, not from this particular site, but I did have some that was selling on Walmart, and they were selling they were selling pretty fast. And people will buy multiples, uh, either multiple shades or multiple quantities of the same shade. See what they got here. Let's look at Rimmel. I got a few of these, but I can get, I can tell you this right now. Most of these shades don't sell for that much. However, the prices ain't that high either. You got $1.85, $1.78, and $1.94 per unit. So these two are already sold out. But, I mean, that's a fairly decent price uh, depending on the shade because most of these shades don't sell for much. Anyway, if you're trying to sell them on Amazon, I wouldn't even try because the majority of these, you, you're not going to make any amount of money on Amazon selling these on Amazon. You'll probably make a couple dollars depending on the shade on Walmart as long as Walmart's not on the listing. You're better off kind of lot needs up on eBay if you had them. I wouldn't pay for them separately, though. If I got them in a liquidation lot, that's different. So you can go through all of these for yourself. Where you might want to check out, though, is their mixed boxes and lots. This is where you might be a little bit better off uh, increasing your profit margin per unit. And you'll be able to get things for... And I don't think they have anything at the dollar fifty-ish range like some other site. Well, this one is uh, clean color mix box. That's a dollar fifty per unit. Most of them gonna be in the two dollar range, I think. You know, which ain't bad. Which ain't bad. So some of these boxes will be worth it. They look like they sold out a lot of them right now, but they come they come and go. So you can check that out. That's wholesalemakeup.com. All right, next up we got Cosmetics Club. This is gonna be a site that has mostly higher end makeup. Okay, you don't need a reseller license. Um, there's no minimum order quantity. You just get what's available. I have purchased from them a couple times and I'm actually about to buy one of their higher end products. Sometimes they'll have mixed lots of Maybelline and all of that. Right now they got some mixed assorted lots of uh, Revlon items, which I have purchased before and it was good. So it's exactly as they describe it. This is $1.50 a unit, which is a good price for that type of stuff. I've gone through this site a few times. Some of these categories are empty, actually, but you do got to check back here often because they will update stuff uh, fairly frequently. A lot of these things that they say are great items for Amazon, they 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 really ain't. <laughs> some of them, some of them are. Very few are. But I can guarantee you this: when an item shows up on here that does well on Amazon, you better get it quick because it will be gone does not last long there was a few times where I seen some items and I would you know like all right I'll come back to that and then I'll go off and do something else and forget and come back a couple days later and poof it was gone and I was kicking myself in the behind because I didn't pick it up so a lot of this Revlon stuff right here this will be in that mixed box that mixed lot you get so unless you want to sell these specifically I would kind of just get the mixed box because you'll get it cheaper per piece now ain't no guarantee of course of if you'll get them or how many you'll get but when I got that mixed box I did get pretty much all of the singles um, all the type of single items they got just in different quantity amounts but I mean you can go through it like this for instance this item right here I was going to actually buy this but man this started off so if you click on the Amazon link because my worry was that it would do exactly what it's doing right now okay and I'm gonna show you what that is when I first looked at that item, it was up here at the twenty $28.49 $28 range, right? There was about five five uh, offers because if you look at the bottom, you see the offer count. It was at around that time, it was five, then it starts going up and up and up. And of course, as it goes up, the price starts to fall and fall and fall until finally we are at $20.23. And at that at that sell price for the amount that you can get it for on a cosmetics website I think the profit margin is like two dollars and some change so like I've initially and this is this is one of the ones I'm glad I kind of took my time on because I was worried about this happening in the first place and when you look at the quantities I mean I, and because I thought about okay maybe I'll just buy it and you know kind of wait people out but when you look at the quantities over here I mean pretty much everybody got a pretty good amount of quantities on here like look at this and this is all FBA the first ones so 70 23 82 46 95 49 you know 156 
So this stuff ain't going nowhere no time soon. So you're going to be holding on to these for a while. The sales rank ain't bad, but that's because the price keeps falling. Sales rank is, if you look right here, is at 62356 So, but again, that's because the price was falling. I don't know, but I'm kind of glad I didn't get it. I mean, uh, out, of, out of 62,000 sales rank, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd rather just wait it out and not get it. But anyway, that's kind of that's kind of how they do it. They'll give you the links to the things, you know, so you can do your research on Amazon to see if it's a good purchase decision for yourself or not. Okay, now this next one is one that everybody knows about. And it's one that I have in the past been very critical about. Because the fact of the matter is, they, they're, you know, the merchandise is, while it has been in good condition, just the resale value hasn't been there. So I'm not going to focus on brand name cosmetics like these lots they got, okay? Just forget about the lots. Don't even worry about the lots. So they have something new that they've been doing lately. And I've done this, I've purchased from them, and it has been what they said. So if you go into pallets and you go into manifest it, if you have the money, this right here, I purchased this. That price fell too. So now I got those on like four different platforms and it's just saturated. So I don't know. I'm a, and this has nothing to do with wholesale ninjas, right? It's just the fact that once again, you're buying items from an open site where there's really no uh, barriers to entry, right? There's no reseller license needed. There's no minimum order quantity. Anybody with the money can come and buy it. Yeah. But anyway, moving on down the lane. These are really good because these are actually manifested, right? You can go and you can click on it and come down here and you can either look at the manifest through here, but it's a little bit more detail. If you look, just click here to download the manifest, you'll be able to download the manifest and see everything that they got and you can research the UPCs. So I've bought this already. Well, not this particular palette, but I've bought some palettes from this through this program right here. I like this one. Okay this because I can see what I'm getting from them and the condition has been good it has been good there was you know as, as is the case with all liquidation or shelf pools you got some broken seals here and there but honestly for the most part I was I was happy with, with my purchase with, with this you know I've purchased lots from them in the past when I started being, being critical and I was never happy about that and so I stopped and I had stopped you know buying from them for a long time until I seen them doing this program and I like it so if you have the money and they have different price ranges but the price per unit is what, what really what, what I really like because dollar 59 yeah you might pay twenty three hundred dollars but it's a dollar sixty three cents per unit of course this isn't including shipping but their shipping isn't really exorbitantly high either so you'll be good there yeah so you can just kind of go through these pallets look I can, I can guarantee you this too if you find one that has a good manifest you better pull the trigger because it won't be there I've done that too. I've had two or three manifests going through them. Like, all right, I'm going to maybe get this one. Let me. And by the time I go back, it's already gone. So people are going through these. They're, they're processing these uh, manifests, looking through them, seeing what the value is, and they're buying them up. So you're going to want to check this out. This is really good merchandise, and you actually get to see what you're getting through the manifest. And now my last one, and this is a jewel. That I like. I've been actually buying from these people for a while now, maybe a two years ish here and there. So this is Discount Wholesalers Inc. And I think they're out in North Carolina. They do pallets. They just so this whole website has been updated now. Okay, and I actually like it. They updated it. Uh, they didn't when I first started buying from them. This was a pretty basic website. They weren't selling lots of single items like they are now. So all this stuff. You have all these lots of single items. They wasn't doing this. So they, they started doing it, which I think is good. Some of these items are worth some money. Some maybe not so much. They have your different categories over here. But another thing that they added that I like is the uh, buy it now, which I'm trying to, or the make an offer option, which I'm trying to get some offers done now. So let's say, for instance, I go over here, right? And look at this Casilla or mixed lot. So look. You can get 50 pieces, right? Mixed, $127. So that's $2.54 a unit. Now, you can make them an offer 
on the whole amount. So they say they got nine cases. So that's nine cases of 50, right? You can, they want $1,144.80. You can make them an offer and they can either, you know, deny it. They'll probably, they'll probably uh, counter offer you if they don't want to accept it. And then you got the choice of going from there. I can tell you this though, the guy, his name is Rex. I've spoken with him on the phone. If you spend money with them, they'll give you some, uh, I'm, you know, they'll give you some nice, nice prices on the merchandise if you spend money. If you're only buying a lot or two, you know, you're probably going to just pay the price. But if you buy, if you spend a few thousand dollars, they, he, he'll work with you, man, and he'll make sure. Now, look, you can send them a reseller license if you got it, but they don't require one for you to make the purchases either. So. If I was you, I would just call, have a conversation with them. Maybe you've seen them, they, they are on Facebook and everything like that, but I like their products. I like their pilots. I bought I bought a lot. I spent thousands and thousands of dollars with these guys and you know, I haven't been disciplined or I wouldn't have kept spending money with them. You will get what they say. I can guarantee, I can tell you this though. I can tell you this. So if you get a pallet, let's just say for instance, let's go back to, they had this cleaning pallet. I was going to say that when you some of the pallets, I will say that they're good pallets, but you can tell that the, the items that they not that not as desirable or that they really can't move, they'll definitely spread those out amongst pallets. So you'll get some good product, but you can expect that there's going to be a good amount of quantities of just, you know, honestly, some bullshit. That's just a heads up. However, despite that, I have not been disappointed with the stuff that I got from them, but I have had to deal with some bullshit. <laughs> In some of the pilots, it's just it is what it is, man. But for the price, so I would say this: if because they have some low prices, right? So let's just say, for instance, if you're looking at, let's go back to cosmetics, right? And you're looking at this one right here, 5K. I've I've actually purchased this before. And I want to say it was a little bit cheaper when I got it, but whatever. So, but look, you get 5,000 units, 84 cents a unit. Okay, it's a good deal. But I will tell you this. Um, you're going to have some units in there that's going to either be broken seals. You're going to have some makeup in there that's probably not like higher end makeup. So I would like if it's say 84 cent, I would probably kind of estimate higher on your price per unit. So look, even if you went up to say a dollar fifty, because you might say, okay, damaged units or just units that might not be as desired, because you're probably going to have to take some of those things and bulk sell them. You know, you're going to have to put them in one bulk lot and just sell them off to get rid of them. So you might want to raise that up to about a dollar fifty cent per unit. Which still, there's good stuff in there that will sell and it will like you'll get your money back and some. So it'll be worth it. I, I like I said, I bought this whole lot before, and I did have to bulk sell some of the stuff. But I was very very pleased with the whole palette as a whole, and and I, it didn't bother me at all. So I was happy about that. He hasn't updated any of these palettes lately but he does have other stuff so if you contact him and talk to him he'll send you manifest of other stuff that might not be on the site especially once you tell him what you're interested in and this is just makeup so look he has other categories general merchandise you got all of that you can go through the general merchandise you can go through let's look at health and beauty if you're looking at if you're interested in that uh you just go through that good guy good site still buy from them I'm actually waiting to see if I can get an offer accepted on some things I wanted and you know so that's that so look that's five sites man those are just five sites that pretty much anybody got access to different price ranges depending on what you want to sell don't be afraid to spend money you know on some of the higher end stuff either because sometimes you got to do that I used to be scared to spend money initially like you know on some of the things on this site over here at cosmetics club but then I got over it and I just started buying the stuff and selling it and it has raised my average sale price and my average uh, profit per per item. But I also have sources that I use that, you know, require sales tax license and minimum order quantities. So what I'll do real quick for you guys, I'll show you a, a little bonus, okay? You're going to need a sales tax license. If you got one, you can use it. And if not, well, I don't even think all of them require one. I'm not sure. KCP Wholesale Distributors. Now, this is Telegram. Okay, they got a telegram site so all these are on telegram but you can find them if you do a search kcp wholesale distributors they have mostly higher end items okay so if you 
interested in higher end like makeup and things like that or just health and beauty you can get it from them I haven't ordered from them yet so I don't know if you need a reseller license for them okay this is one I just found OC distribution Amazon wholesale catalog you can go through their stuff see what they got Empire distribution I have ordered from them I know you need a reseller license for them sales tax license this is another one where you gotta act fast because this stuff will this stuff will be gone, man. You if they send this through the thread and you don't send a message telling them you want it, like ten minutes later for the most part that that crap it'll be gone, man. Not crap, but and I think there was one more FBA wholesale. They got some pretty decent merchandise too. But again, all of these you will need not only a sales tax license, but there are minimum order quantities that you will have to adhere to in order to get what you want. So if you want to step your game up, this is what you want to do. I'm not saying necessarily you have to buy from these specific distributors, but you want to increase the barrier to entry to separate yourself from competition. Okay. And for those of you, I'll go one more. Pretty sure you guys know about these people, right? 888 lots. They kind of switched up the uh, format of how they do things lately, but you can often find some really good deals on here. They're not everything right you can buy items individually but they have a lot of categories and before I go farther yes you do need a resellers license but there are many categories you can buy let's go home garden and pets right and there's just different quantities right so you can research these items look them up on Amazon look them up on eBay look them up on Walmart one piece you can you can kind of narrow that down you might want to say high ones and twos high less than 20 me, I don't really try to buy like singles. It just I ain't about to go through and look for. It. I just kind of look at anything that's less than twenty. I kind of really don't want to mess with. But there are some jewels. Sometimes it just really ain't worth it, right? They have one dollar shipping because they use that Amazon multi-channel fulfillment thing. I think on a lot of this stuff, you can just go through and look at and see what they got. I mean, is it worth buying or not? You know. The other good thing is they have these lots which they. Had for a long time there really wasn't nothing on here man but then they started coming back with these lots and you kind of just look at them you can go through the manifest see what they got so like for instance let's look at this real quick healthcare and supplement box which is sold out by the way but then that's what the person got which just looking at this I can see why they bought it and their merchandise is pretty clean if they say it's new then it's new and you what you see is what you get with them which is what I like I've been purchasing from them for years and I, I, I can say that what you what they say it is is what it is. If it's a box damage uh, box, you can expect to get everything in there is going to be damaged to some degree. It might just be the packaging or whatever, something like that. But yes, if they say damage, it's going to be damaged. But a lot of times the price will be so low per unit, like this, a dollar and fourteen cent. You're getting 173 items at the hunt for 198 dollars. So if you go through and you just say to yourself, well, yes, yeah, like for instance, I got a box one time and all it was was these, these soles was new, but like the package was just ripped or something like that, right? So like I still sold them. I just sold them on eBay for like $10, $12, you know, it depends. Like people still pay up for them. They ain't paid $17.99 or retail, full retail, of course. But you know, you might get $9, $10, $11, $12 for them. But you only paying a dollar and fourteen cent, and even with shipping, that's still going to be in, uh, you know, under a dollar fifty per unit, you know. So you kind of just go through, and you get what you get. So that's it, man. Um, that's some of the places that I buy from, and I still use the majority of these sites. So it's not like I've used these and I stopped, and now if you use them, you ain't gonna know. They got you just gotta do your due diligence, look through. But if you're just starting off, discount wholesalers is a good place good people call and talk to them they got a lot of merchandise they're always updating stuff and they do always have stuff that you that they might not have on the site so just ask them tell them what you're interested in and you'll probably be able to you know find find something a lot of it is higher end stuff but you know you gotta have to really do some research because some of it really ain't as profitable as you might want it to be this wholesalemakeup.com you got again you got to kind of go through you probably do better on the lots on here and on the single items but again platform is big there in the wholesale cosmetic so just kind of go ahead check them out and see what you
you can do. Do me a favor though. If you like this video, if it helped you out a little bit, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I always I got some more plans for some more content coming up. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified next time I upload another.